Fretted with golden fire, that lovely line from Hamlet about sunsets, fretted with golden fire. So mm -hmm. sunsets, like if, you, if you're sitting there on the porch, you're having a coffee, the sun is setting over the trees and it is beautiful, you know, like a paint spattered angel winged tapestry of the gods, of the, the sun sinking. Or some of those weird moons, you know, like those weird freaky Stephen King moons that are like just over the treetops and they look like, like giant swollen orange eyeballs, <laughs> just crazy stuff. <laughs> and, and so you mm -hmm. see something beautiful like that and you, you're sitting next to someone and that someone is really depressed. And you look at that sunset and you say, that sunset, isn't it beautiful? And they look at it and they say, eh, is that the fault of the sunset? No. Is the sunset doing something wrong? Is the sunset suddenly ugly or boring? No, they're depressed. They cannot experience pleasure. They cannot experience enthusiasm. They consider it sometimes a self-betrayal to be positive about anything. And the sun and the sky put on this amazing show for us every single day. I mean, I sometimes, honestly, it's ridiculous, but I stand there under a big sky looking at these clouds thinking, if there was like a galaxy-wide tourist agency, Earth, would be one of the top destinations. I mean, come on, we've got a sun and a moon that's about the same size based on the relative distance. There's eclipses. Mm -hmm. we've, we've got a moon, you can see the crazy. We got, we got clouds, crazy rainbows, crazy <laughs> shit going on in the sky all the time. Amazing stuff. Yeah. Lightning storms, thunder. Mm -hmm. It rains frogs for God's sakes. <laughs> you know, this is an insane planet we live on. It's beautiful, it's extraordinary, it's fantastic. There are salamanders that knit their baby eggs into leaves underwater. There are spiders that live in bubbles under the lakes. I mean, it's an insane place to live. There is no end of wonders and glories and shocks and surprises and beauty in this world. We live in a culture where people spend their entire life trying to find out where the hell monarch butterflies go in the winter. Yeah. We live in a glorious thunderdome of gorgeous stimulation. I mean, you've got the crazy ass drunk drivers of butterflies careening all over the place, yet strangely getting places. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we, we, there are, there's a kind of bee, they have a hive and they have a, a guardian bee out front. And that guardian bee can tell how closely genetically related every bee is who tries to get into the hive. And if you're really closely huh. related, he lets you right in. If you're not that closely related, he pushes you back a little bit, but may let you in. They've, they've got 14 different degrees of genetic relatedness that this tiny pea brain little bee can differentiate and let you in based <laughs> or not. If you're, four, if you're 14, he just doesn't let you in. A, wow. bee, a bee can figure out how genetically related it is to 14 different degrees of separation to another bee. Are you kidding me? We are number one on the intergalactic planet of amazing places to visit. And the sun it's puts on amazing. this incredible show every single night. Oh, look at this painting I've made. No human being can paint like I paint with my mighty muscles of fire. And people are like, eh. eh. They'd rather check Twitter. Yeah, yeah. 